actually the worst tornado in the last 60 years. Hello friends, welcome to Stormtopia.com. Yeah, I know. It sucks. I've been taking forever to finally get the website transferred to fix. And guess what? They continue to do a horrible job. In the best case scenario, I'll be done tomorrow. In the worst case scenario, it'll be never done. That's what we've learned over the past three weeks. Let's get your mind off the website, your mind on the weather, because your minds want to want to be on the weather. Because no matter how horrible your life is, you can at least look good, look forward to a decent forecast over the next couple of days. A beautiful Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The worst of the weather is going to be in New England. The best of the weather is going to be in the Mid-Atlantic. But we're all going to be looking at a good stretch of days. Check, check out today's high temps. Anywhere in those pinks, those were 70s. All the way across areas like, oh, say, Virginia, southern central Pennsylvania. Boston, northwest, big heat island this year. Places like Fitchburg, places like Lowell, places like Carlisle, Massachusetts are going to be the warmest they've seen since 2010. At least 40 90 degree days, I'm telling you, right now, this summer. And let's take a look at what we can expect towards Tuesday. Warm, moist, humid conditions in the area. We're going to be seeing a south easterly flow, which is different from a southwesterly flow. It has more moisture in it, so you're going to be seeing an isolated pop-up sh scatter shower or thunderstorm. The Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma has gone ahead and issued a slight, uh, not a slight risk, a CTEX risk, and that basically means that there's going to be a convective situation in the area. It doesn't really mean that we're going to see any severe storms of any kind. People say, the Storm Prediction Center is issued, and then that's always the preface to a major severe weather outbreak. That will not be the case. This is what they're saying right now. Again, basically just a sort of convective situation developing tomorrow afternoon. A couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms in New England, Mid-Atlantic, Southeast. That is pretty much all you're going to be looking at for Tuesday. And Wednesday is going to be looking a little bit better. You're going to be looking at a very progressive southeasterly flow, even a little bit warmer, 70s for many in Virginia. I think you'll be easy to accomplish that. The warm air goes up to about Portsmouth, New Hampshire, because by the time you get into Maine, a uh, coastal front, a Norlon trough, and a trough will all be impacting you at the same time, which means scattered snow showers, very cold air in eastern Maine. It could be a 30 degree temperature contrast in just a matter of 150 miles. That's not uncommon for New England, but it will be impressive because we haven't seen it in a while. How about Thursday? Worthy of a troll face here in the mid-Atlantic. 75 to 80 degrees or higher is your forecast. Even with the warm conditions spreading to about Hartford, Connecticut, what a great day Thursday is going to be. Trough fail for New England. You're going to be seeing on the back end of this weird little thing pushing through New England that's going to provide you a couple days of snow showers and rain showers. You're going to be dealing with a trough on the back end. Cold air. Maine, another cold day. Boston, you were able to escape on Wednesday, but not on Thursday. I think that this will be, unfortunately, for all you folks trying to get out there, not the warmest day. Pack on an extra layer compared to Wednesday. How about the weekend, Friday, throwing that all in there? A progressive southwesterly flow, but this time more moisture. Showers with breaks of sun will be basically our forecast. The more breaks of sun you'll see, the likely closer you are to Sunday, because that is when we are likely to see a more dry and as warm pattern beginning to set up. Now, if you want to get a really great idea about what the long-term averages could be for our area, let's take a look at this Climate Prediction Center. I'm so used to saying Storm Prediction Center. But um, as you can see right now, 6 to 10 day temperature outlook is very warm across the greater part from the Mid-South all the way to the Northeast. 8 to 14 days is pretty much the same. Um, and even though it has outlining very specific areas, I think that St. Louis will have at least three 80 degree, at least five 80 degree days between now and the end of March. That would be a low estimate for you guys. That is going to be one of the warmest areas of the nation. And again, one month, three months, you're going to be looking at a very warm couple of months for the Midwest, and even a pretty warm 
a couple of months for uh, the Northeast. They say equal chances in your three months, but based on what I've seen, you're going to be looking at a pretty warm situation. People are saying that you could see a 97 type snapback to a cold blizzard in April. I'm just not buying it at this point. I really don't see this pattern breaking uh, at all. Have a good day.